Today, we're talking about protecting your Sony Alpha camera with a proper cage. So if you're new here, my name is Dave, and this channel is all about filmmaking tips and camera gear with a minor in bad jokes, and I apologize for that. So if this is something that you're interested, please consider subscribing and give me a like if you like it. If not, hopefully one of my other videos will be something that you do like. Let's get into the video. Thanks for joining me. As you can see, I am in the great outdoors today. It was a beautiful day, so I decided to get out of the studio, which is my basement, actually. I don't really have a studio. It's kind of sad. Anyways, get out of the studio and enjoy this beautiful weather. It's still spring here in Ottawa, so the leaves have not uh, blossomed, shall we say, and things are still a little bit uh, interesting looking on the ground. But soon enough, everything will be in bloom and it will look fantastic here in a little bit later spring here in Ottawa. I love this area. I'm down at the Black's Rapids here near the Rideau Canal system. I love this area for shooting, but let's get to the video. So today we're talking about protecting your camera. Now, do you need protection for your camera? Probably not. You don't necessarily need it. Your camera is going to work fantastic. Are you going to be a better shooter because you have a protective cage? On your camera? Well, no, that's not the way cages work. I, I wish, because then I would be putting cages on all my, my gear, of course. But no, today we're talking about the small rig cage. This is for specifically the Sony a6400, but small rigs makes cages for every camera imaginable, almost. I haven't actually looked into it. So I'm kind of guessing, but as I know, when I've looked through cameras and did some research, they make a lot of cages. So let's take a closer look at what a cage can do to benefit you and your camera. Now it's important to put cages on things that are very important to us and valuable. This is why I wear a cage when I play hockey. Now of course that cage works really well to protect my noggin and some people say that this camera is much more valuable than what's in my noggin. You can't argue with that. Now of course the main benefits of putting a cage on your camera are to protect it. Of course you're not protecting your lens but you're protecting the body of your camera. Now. Originally, when I got the Sony a6400, I loved the small form factor of it, and that's great. But I did know that at some point I wanted to add accessories to it, but I also wanted to protect this camera. I mean, it's not the most expensive camera, but for me, it was quite an investment, and I did not want it to get damaged. And I'll tell you a story. I was at a shoot, and I was setting up my camera gear, and I was using the a6400 as my B camera, which I sometimes do. It's a fantastic A camera, but also a very good B camera, depending on what other cameras you have. Anyways, I was setting up, and there was a photographer taking pictures of the same subject. This happens at shoots. No problem. We always get along. We stay out of each other's way. No problem. Anyways, they were setting up some lights, and their lights were fairly big. And I asked them, are you going to be putting sandbags down on your lights? But they said, no, that the lights are pretty stable, no problem. Okay, I get that. I like using sandbags, but the point is, is that without sandbags, it might be stable, but what if someone knocks it over? There's lots of people in this room walking back and forth. There's not a lot of room in the room. Does that make sense? Room in the room? You, you know what I mean? So I was hoping they were gonna put sandbags, but they didn't, and we kept going on with the day. Anyways, as I was checking on my A camera, I just happened to look over and sure enough, the light tipped over because somebody banged it. They tried to catch it. They actually did catch it kind of mid fall, but it banged right into this camera. But luckily it banged into the case. And as you can see, there's no damage there. The case is nice and strong. Uh, this actually did topple over, but somebody caught it. So that was fine. But the actual light, the physical light actually hit the cage. Uh, there's a tiny mark here. But it just goes to show you never know, as careful as you can be with a camera, something might happen like this. So that's probably the main thing for the cage is to be able to protect your gear. Another thing people really like about putting a cage on their camera is the fact that it makes it a little bit heavier and a little bit bigger. I'll talk about the little bit heavier part a little bit later. Now, I will agree it does make it a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit easier to hold. You can get the wooden handle. For me, I did have the wooden handle, but I thought it was just a little bit too bulky. I like the small form factor of this camera, so I decided I didn't want to go ahead and get a bulkier cage. So that's why I went with this more simplistic cage, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Now, other than the strength and protecting this camera, the other great thing is putting accessories on this cage, because you cannot put a lot of accessories on the camera itself. This Sony a6400, um, matter of fact, you have your 
your hot shoe right here. And of course, with the screen, your hot shoe is covering up your screen, which is a major uh, mistake, I think, for Sony. But you know what? There are workarounds, so that's great. But if you have the cage, it gives you a lot more options of what you can do with this camera. Okay, so one of the great things about this cage are all the options you have for mounting. There are different kinds of mounts all over this thing. I'm not gonna count it because it'll make the video too, too long, but there are a lot. Wanna play a fun game at home. How many holes for mounting, mounting holes do you think are on this cage? Ready? Go ahead and guess. Let me know in the comments without counting, without counting and without Googling it. Huh? Can you take, no, forget it. Anyways, one of the great things about it is that you can mount almost anything to it. One of the first accessories I got for this accessory, that sounds weird, was these little tiny cold shoe mounts. Now, I love to be able to add things to it. Now, these little cold shoe mounts are great because you can move your light, your cold shoe, anything that you wanna move around, you can move around. You have complete control over it. For me, I like to have them on the side here. So all I have to do is make sure I tighten the cold shoe, make sure it's on there nice and sturdy and then I can take this is just a shotgun this is the Rode micro and then I can plug it in and I'm good to go see that good to go now some people might like it on top of here you can do that as well but just remember with these cameras you're going to be blocking your screen if you're going to be looking back at the screen and blogging if it's not a big deal hey who cares but I do find I can get pretty good audio I know it's not centered but it, it could do a pretty good job and the fact that it just hooks in there nice and easy that's awesome. I love the fact that you can add cold shoes to this cage anywhere you want. Sometimes I have one attached here as well. So if I have another piece of gear I want to use, I can do that. But for me, the shotgun mic goes on this one or the wireless mic goes on this one and it's nice and easy to control and I can monitor everything. And I really like that fact as well. Now, another great thing about this cage is how accessible all your ports and your doors are. So here's where the battery and the memory card go. Nice and easy to access that, even if it's on a tripod, very easy. Over here you have your charging ports and your other, your um, HDMI uh, micro and your audio port, very easy to access, no problem. Now, another great option with this cage is the ability to put any accessories. We mentioned that earlier, but for me, sometimes if you wanna rig it out, you really need a cage to rig out your gear. Now, whether you wanna rig out your gear, that's up to you. But for most people, if they're going to be putting on additional gear, you're gonna to have to have a cage and this thing is great. Now this cage also works really, really well with a monitor. It's so easy to put on. You can actually get an adapter or you can just use, this came with the, the monitor, no problem. But this is also another great adapter that you can just hook onto it so that you can use it for uh, you know, pivoting and tilting. That's fantastic. I mean, you can do that with this. But again, because I have the cage, you have unlimited options of how you want to rig up your camera. And if you decide, that you wanna move this over here or over there because it works best for you, that's great. I love the fact that you can do that. It gives you so many different ideas. And for me, the fact that now I have the monitor here, I can turn it either direction to work. If I'm shooting myself, I can do that. Fantastic. And I know it's very secure because I am using this small rig cage. Now, one of my other favorite options to use with this is a light. So sometimes you just want a light and you wanna put it somewhere else. Now, this is just a tiny, simple arm that you can take screw it in anywhere really you can just take this arm you can put it anywhere you want and it's going to work for you you decide where you want to put it um, for me i always kind of have a favorite spot and if you look if you look carefully at the uh <laughs> at the cage you can tell exactly where i like to put the uh accessories but from here i mean you can do anything you can put a light do anything you want these arms are great you can do anything you want. So your ability to accessorize this camera are almost unlimited. You can really do a lot with it. So at the end of the day, do you really need a cage for your camera? Well, of course the answer is no, it's up to you. It's your camera, you use it how you feel. One of my favorite ways of using the Sony a6400 is just the camera itself with the lens, that's it. I know it seems kind of weird, but I love the simplicity of this. It's nice and light, I can carry it anywhere. My hands aren't, that big that the handle is too small. Now we can all agree that the handle on this camera here is not perfect, but one of the other Sony Alpha cameras, you know, some of the bigger ones, they have much better handles. And of course you can get an accessory for the handle. But for me, it works really, really well, nice and light. Sometimes I use the cold shoe mount adapter to move it over here so that I can look back at the screen, which I love because I love to be able to 
have that option of looking back at myself, especially if I'm vlogging, to make sure I'm centered on my composition and make sure everything else looks good. But this, uh, this cage is pretty decent. It's not very expensive. I got this one on Amazon. Of course, there are lots of other companies making it. This one is from Small Rig, of course. It's very, very popular. Small Rig does a great job, but you know what? There are a lot of other great companies out there making these cages now. So if you decide to pick one up, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And I would be interested to send me some photos of how you rig up your camera using one of these cages. I uh, don't always love rigging up my cameras because sometimes I like the small form factor of just the camera itself, but sometimes you kind of need to add accessories and this cage makes life that much easier when it comes to adding accessories. Anyways, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.